Nagpapatuloy ang nagbabagang aksyon dito sa URCC Digmaan sa Davao City. Muli ang Ton Rojas kasama ang ating resident MMA analyst at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner na si Theo Castillo. And we go back to the pinweight division for our third fight kung saan ating mapapanood si Reggie Binigyan. 34 years old na, Theo, itong si Reggie. Oo, oh, at itong si Reggie, ang nickname niya, The Palos. Ha? So tingnan natin kung gano'ng kadalas itong mamang to. Uh, he's a local fighter dito sa Panabo City at a third dan black belter siya in karate Anton ma matindi yun matindi yung mga mga sipang pwedeng pakawalan nitong si uh, Reggie at Muay Thai practitioner siya six time regional champion at two time champion in full contact karate yun nga yung sinasabi kong matinding uh, kumbaga bagay na nasa resume nitong si Reggie Binigyan at ma maganda ang kanyang fight record, ha? anim na panalo at dalawang talo. He weighed in at 118 pounds. Pero the biggest difference dito sa pagitan ni Binigyan at ni Escobia, 34 years old na itong si Reggie. So let's see if he can tame the young bull. So, at itong ang mabibigay rin natin dito kay Reggie Binigyan is yung, yung ito na yung ninth na laban niya. Ito, okay. Be it amateur or kahit professional, this is big for any fighter. Lalo na kung ito yung kakalabanin mo. So, medyo malaki rin yung lalagpasan or dapat lagpasan itong si Ernie Escobia. Okay, tignan natin ang profile nitong si Reggie Binigyan na 5-5. Meron siyang height advantage. Pero yun nga lang, 34 years old na itong si uh, Reggie Binigyan. So, tignan natin itong bibigyan niya ng lesson. <laughs> Ito nga uh, kanya mga kalaban na si Ernie Escobia. Again, this is URCC Digmaan sa Davao City. Where we are uh, witnessing uh, the best, the very best in MMA from this region. Alright, ito naman ang mga kalaban ni Reggie Binigyan si Ernie Escobia. Ernie Escobia called the long hair at uh, considers his long hair as his strength or where his strength comes from. Parang si Samson lang to, partner. <laughs> he has been practicing the art of boxing for many years now. And he's also a spy, he's an aspiring professional MMA fighter. So, ito na yung ano, uh, one small step para dito kay uh, Ernie Escobia. Uh, uh, we, we just have to explain to all our televiewers, Theo, na mga lumalaban dito sa ating undercard fights. They're not professional fighters, uh, pero th they're on the road to becoming professional fighters na gustong lumaban dito sa URCC. At syempre, magandang step na ito itong URCC kasi ito na yung pinaka masarap puntahan eh, pag fighter ka, di ba? Pag nasa URCC ka, it's really a big stage. So, ito na masusubok talaga yung galing mo, yung pagkahasa mo dun sa, sa art mo. So, where else to be but uh, the URCC? Ernie Escobia, very young, 23 years old, 5'2". So, uh, Medyo may height disadvantage itong si Ernie Escobia kumpara kay uh, Reggie Pinigyan. Uh, he represents Team Flush Val Steelyard. Let's check out the tail of the tape para ikumpara ang dalawang uh, mandirigmang ito. Okay, punta na natin ngayon si Ramon Chalcita. This is match number three. Let's introduce right now our fighters. Fighting out of the blue corner, he weighs in at 118 pounds. He stands 5 feet 5 inches. His MMA record, six wins, two losses. Representing John Su Dong, please welcome Reggie the Alas His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he tips his scales tonight at 112 pounds. He stands 5 feet 2 inches. His MMA record, one win, one loss. He's fighting out of Flush Val Steelyard. All hail Ernie the Long Hair Escobia! When the action begins in the ring, our third man is referee Joey Lepitin. Okay, you know the rules? No headbutt, no groin shot, no silicone, that's a spine, okay? So grab the cage, no foot stop, on the ground and upon, okay? And no elbows. Okay, listen to my at all times, protect yourself at all times, touch gloves. 
Go back to your corner. Napakabilis ang uh, mga naging uh, resulta ng Judge. ating uh, laban so far Judge. dito sa URCC Digman. Let's see if that trend Time. will continue Ready. as referee Joey Lapita continues to be the third man inside the cage. At ang ating susunod na laban, balik tayo dito sa midweight division kung saan babakbakan ngayon. Si Reggie Pinigyan at si Ernie Escobia both wearing black trunks with yellow trim. Pero uh, itong si Escobia siya yung may long hair. And they call him the long hair. Mala Saxon na natin. Oh! What the fuck? Escobia! One punch power. Meron pala itong si Escobia at Anton. Proving na isang delay lang nga lang siguro ang kaya tumanggap ng lakas niya. So medyo kailangan talagang pigilan itong si Kofi Joey Lepitin. Panoorin natin puli. May leg kick mula dito kay Binigyan. At itong si Reggie Binigyan. Aba, Binigyan ni Ernie Escobia ng malaking kanan. Nagandang pag nakita mo, napakaganda lang ng placement ng suntok nitong si Escobia. It wasn't really, di naman not hard, pero it was really placed at the right time at saka doon sa right, ano yun, right part ng mukha nitong si Binigyan. Kasi medyo open yung, yung left side ng mukha niya. And right away, Joey Lepitan had to get in there. Pero ito, si Reggie Binigyan, ha? Uh, gusto pa bigyan ng mga oh. hagupit ito si Ernie Escobia for number 3 our winner due to knockout the fighter from the red corner Ernie the long hair Escobia first round knockout win para kay Ernie Escobia isang mabigat na kanan ang pinatama ni Escobia upang patulungin at tapusin ang ating pangatlong laban dito sa URCC Digmaan Davao. Makita naman natin, Anton, kung gaano katindi yung yung natanggap dito si Binigyan. Kasi talagang ang ganda ng placement kung suntok at uh, hilong-hilo. Hilong-hilo itong si Reggie Binigyan na kahit nung pagkatapos ng pigilan nitong si Joey Lipitin yung fight, eh dinadive pa ni Reggie Binigyan itong si Ernie Escobia. ABS-CBN Sportsnet.